Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. It is I, Mark, Mark Boudelier, and we are back in New York for less than a week because we actually leave for Paris on Monday and that's what this video is about. It's going to be packing for Paris, fashion week, five outfits, winter, cold, very cold. It's like 30 degrees in Paris. So I don't know if I'm ready for that, but we're gonna do our best. Another fun tidbit of information is that I never check a bag. I don't like keeping track of it. I don't like paying for it. So it's literally going to be one singular overhead suitcase thing and a backpack. That's it. I just got back from Georgia. I was there for nearly a month. I did that for that. I think I can handle it for Paris Fashion Week. So let's go ahead and break into the outfits. I think I think starting first, I'm going to kind of compile some statement pieces that I want to incorporate into some of the outfits and then we will build from there. So let's do that. Welcome to the Mark Boudelier Show where we show Johns and sometimes drip, drip or drown baby. Alrighty, so I gathered all of these statement piece slash things that I just really want to bring with me. I'm gonna run through them real quick. We're gonna see which ones are going to be like the foundation for an outfit and which ones that maybe I just leave. First up, we have the penultimate trousers that a lot of you guys despise. They feature the silly little moss pockets. I love the color of these. I like that there's like an interesting texture and it might be kind of nice to have, you know, one of my outfits be a statement pant fit, you know what I mean? Sometimes you just gotta throw on the statement pants. Sticking to pants, I know you guys have probably seen these on this channel already. They're the Craig Green Boucle pleated trousers. I feel like these are kind of a non-negotiable. I feel like they'll go with a lot, even though they are a little bit statement-y, so probably gonna keep these in the pile. And then, of course, you guys have seen these ones. These are the wool Casabro trousers, which I feel like these are also a non-negotiable because for one, they're definitely my warmest pants, and for two, it kind of just instantly makes any outfit cooler looking, more interesting looking, so... Definitely gonna bring these. And then in terms of outerwear, obviously it's gonna be freezing cold. So I do have the Craig Green puffer that I showed in my last video. It's a one of one, it's from Autumn Winter 18. My only gripe with this is that it's a sample size which runs like a medium. And I feel like it's just a little bit more oversized than what I typically wear. And then the jacket that I pretty much have to bring is this Craig Green Autumn Winter 17 tapestry jacket. This is literally you know, my favorite jacket that I own. Even though it's gonna be kinda cold, I'll just layer up the heat tech or something. We're gonna make this work. And lastly, and I must preface this by saying that I do not really support buying brand new fur. This is a very, very cool Mihari Yasuhiro rabbit fur down vest. And it also features what I believe is goat fur. So this is just a, a montage of animals in this vest. I did not buy this firsthand, obviously. I don't remember what season it's actually from. Outfit number one. So we're doing a little bit of a pattern clash moment here. We have the Craig Green tapestry jackets. I already showed you guys this. We also have this green Craig Green zip up, which kind of breaks it up a little bit. You can kind of see the little bits of green in the jacket. I feel like that kind of plays off of it well. Uh, we have these pants, so that's where the pattern clash comes in. These brown pinstripe pants, which I think looks pretty good with it, honestly. I don't pattern clash too, too often, but, you know, Paris Fashion Week. Maximalist, I'm feeling like. I think it's a nice little switch up. And then we have the Bottega Derbies, which I'm only wearing one. I might also carry a bag. I might also throw on some shades, like I have my brain dead, like my green ones. That might be kind of a cool, cool little thing, so... Yeah, outfit number one. Outfit number two. I know what you're thinking right now. The top looks exactly the same from the prior outfit. And um, that goes back to me only having a small suitcase and a backpack. So second outfit, basically the exact same outfit, except we're switching the pants up a little bit. Nobody cares. No one's going to remember. It doesn't matter, even if they do. This jacket is a banger. I didn't uh, spend as much money on it as I did to not wear it. So... We're wearing it twice. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to report here. We got the Craig Green boucle pants. So still a little bit of a patterny, textury clash going on, but that's um, that's outfit number two. Outfit number three. All right, so here is outfit number three. It's a little bit different now. So we have the Craig Green puffer up top. Um, we have this Whitesville waffle line zip up, a Craig Green sweater vest, an undershirt, which I will probably switch to white because for whatever reason I kind of liked how it looked when it was broken up with white. Uh, I do have the Craig Green pants on still, and still we got the Bottega Derbies. Not that much has changed, but also a lot has changed. This is how we, you know, fit everything into a suitcase. What's going on, man? 
Hey. Thanks for coming out here. Of course, Mark. Nice so to meet you. So look, we're here in Tennessee. This is where the print shop is, 730 printing. We decided to open out here. The cities, we came to Tennessee. This is a skateboard. The lunchroom has a nice feeling to it. Show this, come get your shit back. So this is the machine right here. This is a very large machine. So this is by Rock. Shout out to Rock for the machine. This is, you know, intricate. You know, I don't know how to work this thing. Shout out to Micah, he's on here 24-7 printing. It's a Saturday, so I gave him off today. Where's the good box that I guess I'll check. Oh, here they are. Oh, nice. This is some of them. But I thought I had nicer colors. How many colors are there of this? Just a few. So what, uh, is this, is this an interview? What's, what's going on? You're asking me if this is an interview? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really, you so know. I guess you're the interviewer. Are you interviewing me? Yeah. Or are we just talking? Look, man. We're trying to figure out how to make the video. Give the people what they want. That's what this year is about. It's true. What's your New Year's resolutions? Um, I don't know. Travel more, talk to more people, and talk, interact more with, with the people. I feel like you do a good job of that. Mm -hmm. So It's important. Trying to do more of that. This last year, I've been moving around a lot. So I feel like... Was it a good year? It was a good year. A lot of change, but that kind of meant, you know, having to do my own thing a little bit and kind of like... Mm-hmm. So... You've got to boss up sometimes. Yeah, trying to get back into it. Mm-hmm. You know, what about you? Last year was an interesting year. Did a lot of shit. Felt long and felt short. Felt wide. Felt long. Felt tall, felt short. Small, tall. Round. But all around, it was pretty good. And this year, I'm super freaking excited for, bro. <laughs> what do you have planned? Too much. Every day I'm going to get to work like Jake Paul. Nice. He's my inspiration for this year. It's every day, bro. Have you guys linked yet? Yeah, we have. Oh, really? I've been to his house. Nice. He's a cool guy. So what other brands do you like? I fuck with V-Loan. Amiri. You fuck with Amiri? I'm from Atlanta. Good. Good. Yeah, I mean, people hate on Mike Amiri. That's the new trend. Everyone switched up on him. I don't wear Amiri's, but come on, stop hating on him. Might be a good collab. I DM'd him. Really? No I'll response? Show I'll show you. Hold on. Just so y'all know, I ain't kept him. Maybe I gotta hit up Mike directly. December 23rd, you know what time I was on. 5, 5, 5 p.m. So, uh, I hear you don't ship your products to people? It's fake news. I'm sick of hearing that bullshit, all right? I'm not a scammer. I never scammed anyone. If you're missing an order, DM me and I'll refund you fully. I, I'm i giving out refunds like nothing, bro. So, yo, there was a stain, blah, blah, blah. First of all, the stain is cool. It's supposed to be a little f***ing distressed. They don't get that, bro. Little dookie never they heard anyone. They don't get yeah. that. Look, I'm sick of that f***ing shit saying I can scam people I don't ship. This is a shipping facility right here. I got a team. What the f*** you know got a team, bro? Shipping team, world's fastest shipping. We're getting faster and faster every f***ing minute. I'm clearing my name right now. Put some f***ing respect on my f***ing name. I'm not a scammer. I've been grinding 10 f***ing years. Stop clowning me, bro. That shit ain't funny. You pussy. <laughs> Outfit number four. All right, so again, we're looking pretty similar up top. We did add the cardigan. We took out the sweater vest, so slightly different layers, but still tons of layers. In other words, I will be very toasty in this one. We also switched the pants for the Kazaburo ones. I do need a belt, so they won't sit exactly like this because they're kind of falling a little bit. Uh, and then we still have the Bottegas on, so... You know, there's there's definitely some themes within all these outfits. A lot of rewearing things, but I feel like it works. I feel like it's different enough. And again, nobody cares. Outfit number five. I know a lot of you guys were probably thinking, thank goodness he didn't actually go through with the vest. But I did. I did actually, in fact, go with the vest. So we have the furry Mihari Asahiro vest. We have the Whitesville zip up once again. We have the same bottoms as prior. And... 
yeah, that's pretty much it. I will definitely carry a bag. I might do like leather gloves or something like that. But I think this outfit is really nice and it's definitely still pretty warm. And so I'm actually staying six days. So technically I would need one more outfit, but this is everything that I'm packing. So I feel like everything kind of mixes and matches decently enough where I can just make another outfit. I'm obviously going to bring an extra t-shirt, extra socks, extra undies. But uh, otherwise, that's pretty much it. I only have one pair of shoes, which might be a mistake because these aren't the most comfortable shoes ever, but I don't know if there's any other shoes that I really need to have that would like make any of the outfits better. So I don't know, maybe we'll see. I'm sure some of these outfits are subject to change, but this is what I'm packing for Paris Fashion Week. So stay tuned for other Paris content. Let me know in the comments what you think of this video and until the next time, Bye.